Um, our next presentation, uh, the speaker is uh, Daniel Bonatti, who is a uh, Western Sydney University uh, student, uh, also a, a member of a student council, the Student Representative Council. Um, and his presentation is about people being at the heart of the process. So let's welcome him. Hello. So I'll just share my screen. Okay, so um, exploring quite voices for impact. So institutions need to pri pri um, prioritize cultivating inclusive space by hearing and empowering student voices from diverse groups. So about myself, I'm the engineering technologist of the year nominee. Um, that'll be November and oops, I've got to get used to this. Oops, I've gone back. I'm not very good at pressing these buttons. So um, my, my background is I'm the uh, current president of the Student Representative Council at Western Sydney University. I've gone to um, four different universities, uh, Sydney University, Deakin University, Torrens University, and now I'm at Western Sydney University. I originally graduated with Bachelor of Construction Management Honours and got the university medal and I um, have completed my masters. So I'll do a quick acknowledgement of country. So we acknowledge First Peoples Nations as the traditional custodians of the country we are meeting on today. We recognize their continuing connection to sky, land and waters and thank them for uh, protecting this coastline and its ecosystem since time immemorial. Um, we pay our respects to all elders past and present and extend our respect of all First Nations people present today. Uh, so, um, uh, so, so I got in as the SRC president in only July 2023, and um, I'm leaving in December 2023. So this case study is a work in progress. And um, uh, so after slides, I'm happy to show what we've we've done so far. So we've got an SPA agreement, uh, I mean, a, a students partners agreement um, in, in progress. I'm actually gonna meet the VC uh, next week. Um, we, we've, got, we've had held forums and received uh, feedback. Uh, we've codified and got terms of reference that were missing. Um, we've had motions passed because um, we're one of the only um, SRCs that are still um, a committee under the vice um, chancellor, and um, we want to become like an association or union. So, uh, uh, so I, I start. With, it's basically I'm going to talk about my abstract and get the point across, and then show you my case studies. So, my experience as a president of student uh, representative council at Western Sydney University is governance and decision making. So, I'm a leader who is an advocate for students' needs. And so um, students come first and students need to be heard and freedom of speech and freedom of debate is essential to the idea of a university. And these freedoms should be strengthened. A model framework uh, to have uh, is students as partners and, and students at the table with academia and staff need to, uh, steps to develop. And um, so collaboration in governance is enhanced with level playing field of stakeholder decision making. Um, thought and critical thinking needs to be uh, captured during any think tank. Uh, this feedback eva uh, evaluated and improved decision making with, within governance and the outcome uh, the betterment of quality and learning and teaching. So um, my experience uh, at all university levels of governance uh, formed this case study. So this included, I've been on the Academic Senate, the Senate Education Committee, the Academic STEM Cluster Board, um, the Academic Committees such as the Academic Planning and Core Approvals Committee. 
uh, the multidisciplinary teaching and learning uh, and the um, STEM, that's STEM, and the school academic committee. And um, I have liaised with multiple disciplinary academic and high level staff advocating for students with student representative council, a voice of students. And so the approach uh, we're trying to use is uh, human-centered design. So uh, a method that gets stakeholders' view is um, human-centered design. And this is an approach to make people the heart of the process. Uh, so human-centered design process is cyclic and starts at the left with discover um, and, and continues to uh, with emphasize, uh, um, eye date, screen, uh, uh, prototype, communicate, and it is reiterated after feedback from stakeholders. Uh, so so, so uh, to have people heard from feedback via inquiry, we've opened theme forums, written feedback, surveys, interviews, and ongoing improvement uh, in, in, in guides and procedures, and people needs and desires are captured and, and leads to better aligned services. The goal of employing human-centered design is to develop solutions that meet the needs of Western Sydney University and uh, students as partners need to pr prioritize cultivating inclusive space by hearing and empowering student voices from diverse groups. Empowerment starts with recognition and inclusion within any guides or procedures. And um, stu um, student uh, representative council at Western Cities make an impact and strives in this direction by emotions and actions. So uh, I'll just stop sharing. Um, and I'll, I'll briefly describe what my four, uh, four case, case studies have been happening. So we've got um, a student partnership agreement written up. Um, and um, uh, th th this has taken some time because um, uh, one of my, to get nominated as the president, I, I, it was one of my election promises. And um, we're going to see the vice chancellor on, um, I think, Wednesday. And um, we're, we're going to table this to him. And we're, tr we're trying to get um, a formal agreement going on how to... Um, uh, discuss, you know, our opinions with him. And the other, the other one I was talking about, I, um, as a president of the SRC, I, I hold uh, president's forums. And during president's forums, I, I collect um, uh, various feedback from um, anyone that comes in. It's basically a drop-in centre. And um, I get all sorts of, um, you know, complaints and feedback and what people would like um, done better. And then the, uh, the other one that the whole of the SRC has been involved is um, adding to the um, terms of reference. So we didn't have the Student Equity Collective's terms of reference written, but now we've collated everything and we've got, um, you know, uh, the Disability Collective, the Environmental Collective, the Ethnocultural Collective, the Indigenous Student Council, the International Student Association, Queer Collective, Residential Student Collective, and Women's Collective, um, all, all codified, you know, as terms of reference. And further on, we, we recently had a, uh, a, um, a special meeting where we had uh, a quorum of 100 students wishing that the SRC becomes a union or an association. And also a, a further motion to that was uh, to reallocate re SAP funding to such an organisation. Uh, thank you. I'm ha happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much, uh, Daniel. It sounds like as president, you've been doing an awful lot of work and I'm sure the students appreciate that. Um, at this time, I'd like to open the uh, floor to any questions. We have one in the room. Just one moment.
Hello. So well done. It's a lot of work you've put in there. It seems like you put a lot of time in. My quick question would be, you've done all this work, right? What support has been offered to you from the university to allow you to, I guess, engage um, and facilitate these initiatives and opportunities for the students? Okay, yes. Yeah. So, um, uh, so the actual, for example, the forums, the President's Forums, um, each SRC student, uh, different role, they, they do different forums. So mine was um, to do with services and facilities while the other students were doing things like education um, and, and that kind of thing. So um, basically, there, uh, uh, we, we, we had to set times up and um, we, we had some support, like we, they'd set up rooms for us, um, they'd set up, um, that help us, you know, uh, buy some food for people that might pop in. Um, so so there, there is that support and the support the fact that they do want us to do that kind of thing um, because it's part of our honorariums. And to do with the terms of reference, um, th these um, were a work in progress um, previous to me becoming the, uh, the president. And it was really a shame that they were lacking in a, a participation procedures manual. And um, it's it's something that, sh you know, maybe should have happened before, but, um, with, with the help of uh, the other SRC members, uh, you know, we, we, we try to add and, you know, adjust any problems. And to do with the motions, um, uh, the, the special meeting, uh, there is like um, some hidden, it's, it's not formal support, uh, though as we're only one of two universities in Australia that doesn't have... Um, a union or an association we're actually a uh, committee under the uh, vice chancellor um, uh, the, you know there wasn't any one trying to stop us uh, getting these motions done and um, and the safari allocation and um, yeah I suppose I hope that answers the question. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. Um, if you don't mind, uh, uh, I'm sure there are some some organizations, whether it be uh, uh, faculties or, or student body uh, groups, or indeed uh, student councils of, of universities themselves, who are looking at um, either upgrading things like their terms of reference or the constitution, um, or indeed, if they don't have representation, setting up a... Uh, <clears throat> some form of student advisory council or, or, or association, what advice would you have for them as they were starting? Yeah, so um, I, I went to a, a Student Voice Australia meeting and uh, there was someone talking to us, uh, 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 Sabrine, uh, Sabrine from UTS, she was ex-president, and a year ago they actually did a student um a student partnership agreement with UTS and the vice chancellor there. And um, I, f I found that really intriguing, that uh, meeting. And um, uh, I think um, this is a step forward for any um, association or union there is in universities because um, it can add steps that, uh, or, or, you know, quality, it, it adds quality assurance, it adds levels of um, making the uni better. Uh, for example, they've got like a, a parallel to the SRC, um, an advisory uh, group, which we have, um, which at Western Sydney we actually have got, we call it the uh, citizen jury. And um, the citizen jury, it's just like a, a pop-up advisory group for the vice chancellor. But I think uh, to have more voice, it'd be good if it was um, uh, putting, um, place um, for perpetuity. So um, that would happen all the time, parallel with the um, Student Representative Council. So my advice would be, that, you know, the more voices, the, uh, the more student voices, the better. Yeah. Okay, great, thank you. <laughs>